Every day, first responders across the nation face suspected biological threats that require quick, decisive action. To help first responders choose the right tools for suspicious powder incidences, Pacific Northwest National Laboratory issues an extensive list and description of commercially available hand-portable biodetection and sample collection technologies. The BioCheck Powder Screening Kit is a general biological indicator test that quickly determines if a powder contains protein in order to rule out protein-free hoax white powders. This kit includes a protein test tube, a pH test tube, three swabs, a tube carrier, and an instruction sheet. To use the kit, place both tubes on a level surface and remove their caps. Keep the caps with their original tubes. Next, remove the swab labeled number one from its packet. Roll it in the sample so that the surface of the swab head is covered. Do not overload the swab. Put the swab in the protein test tube labeled number one. Repeat these steps with the acid base swab and the pH test tube, both labeled number two. Once both swabs are in their tubes, replace their caps and shake the tubes to mix. After five minutes, the color of the solutions will show the results. If the protein test tube turns purple, the powder contains protein. A positive protein result indicates the possible presence of a bio-threat, but it could be a harmless protein. Further tests are required to identify the specific substance. A negative result, or a protein test tube that does not turn purple, could mean one of three things. The pH of the sample caused the test to fail, the kit is faulty, or the sample contains not enough or no protein. To rule out a failed test, first check the results of the pH test. A red color indicates acid in the sample, and a blue color for a base. Most biological threat materials produce a neutral pH, or no color change. An acid or base can cause the protein test to fail, in which case a different type of test must be used. To rule out a faulty kit, use the control swab. Do not rub the swab in the sample, but place it directly into the protein test tube, labeled 1. Swirl. And wait 5 minutes. If the protein test tube does not turn purple, the kit is faulty. Finally, if the pH of the sample is neutral and the control swab shows the kit works, a negative result means no protein was detected or the amount of biothreat agent is extremely low. Follow proper disposal guidelines for potentially biohazardous materials. PNNL is dedicated to supporting first responders in detecting biological threats by improving their capabilities. Visit PNNL's Detection Resource Site for the complete biodetection technologies for first responders report.